Howdy again. Operation two, part two. Save. Screen a little bit. Okay. The Titan 3M. The Titan 1M and 2M, we can use a regular vice with parallels. The 3M, you can't. Uh, it's incorrect to use. Uh, I'll just keep on yakking here while I find my where I put my vices. Oh, I get too many folders. I think I had one that said. Uh, No, oh, not assets. I make your teacher. Oh, I know where all the stuff is. Work holding. Device. Let's go get a vice. Not a. Oh, that's lathe. 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 This is vices. Milling vices. And this is the smart vice. I might bring the smart vice in later. Kurt vice. Bring the Kurt vice in. All right. Oops. Not. Let's see, where's my part? Oh, there it is. Let's see. We got. Uh, there's my part. Part vice. Okay. All right. Vice. I've been paying attention when I brought this in. All right. Select the component. Rotate the keys. There it is. There's my part. Move it over. Now we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Closer. Right there. All right. I'm going to shut off some of these. Let's see here. What material? What oh, is material? Oh, this shut that off. All right. Cleaner screen. All right. Oh, let me move this up a little. Means I'll move the vice down. Click the component. Oh, not just that. Click everything. All right, move, select the component. Okay, hit okay. Click, get it in the middle, all right. This is our raw material. Right in the site, tight step sheet says cut uh, one one by two bar stock to a certain length. Right? Make sure on your length uh, you're paying attention. And a common, common, common mistake is to cut them too short. Want to take a nice? Uh, I we use a decimal scale, or if you know how to read a fractional tape measure, to get them to good length. You can use a caliper to check these. Before you cut, but you got to double check these before you put them in, because if you're too short, you're going to end up with half of it cut, so and half missing, part of it missing. All right, this is our jaws with our built-in parallels, right? All right, so I would put it in and just do a quick align. Find uh, the Let's see, I want it. Oops. Oh, wait, actually, I'm better off if I move. Better. 
right. Is this for design purpose? Move the comp Oh no, align. Component. Device. Get there. Uh, no. Right. Go back. Right. I'll figure this out later. All right. I'm going to put this in here against the flat jaws. Got flat part, flat jaws. When this is halfway done, right? All right. Operation one right here. Is that material using, uh, if you're following the setup, you got stock, you no, know, model box point, which is not the stock corner. So if you follow the directions, you shift, shift, shift to get you to align to the model, right? Then in the end, uh, we go to operation two. Yeah, we have the hat. The hat's on here. It's a square. The part is round. The hat is square. Where do we put our WCS, right? Notice I have it in the middle. Edit. We're back to, you got to be aligned to model box point. And let me move this because I could tell my, oh, well, let me move my, my, me. Move me. Me. Right. right. Stock box point, right? Can I use the corner or this corner? Yeah, can't be accurate enough. Plus, you cannot clamp a round part against a flat jaw. You need something that's a same shape as that. So we got two problems. We got uh, how are we going to hold it? Number one, and how do we get the coordinates right? So how are we going to hold it? We're going to use soft draw. So let's let's mark of that one first. We're not going to use this one two three block thing. That up. We got Titan one M with with vices. We got to change. We can't use this setup. We can't use that setup anymore. Go to my folders, Titan uh, Mill 3M, right? And uh, he has soft jaws, and I think they're still in there. You could download this TSJ003. There's a blueprint there. So we did our own. So we got uh, soft jaws. And his videos on how to make soft drive. You can do all right. Oh, Titan 3M. And this is this have the soft drive in it? It goes. No, that's engraving. It's not you. I think this ended up in the wrong. All right. Soft draws. The round pot's probably the easiest concept of soft draws, right? Or a draw that's the shape of the part. So, set up two. So, this is a video on how to make the soft drugs. And you want to have a space there. You got to be able to be able to clamp without it coming loose. Like, like a vice. If you had a vice and you had to put it on a bench and you wanted to hold something, you, you, you can't have the vice just come together because it wouldn't hold anything. Right? You got to be able to hold it. So, you need space in the middle. All right. So these are our soft draws. And what we did is make this circle and pretend there's material in the middle so that it's the same diameter as that. We want to hold on to that. That's our first battle. How are we going to hold it? The round draw is probably the easiest one. All right, so we're going to go in there and, and most... 
of our projects, we've already made the jaws. We're going to just put them in. We're going to change the jaws. We'll get into how to make soft jaws later. So in this case, we want to bring the soft jaws in. Right. Oh, we got a vice in there, too. Oh, do they do that? Soft jaws. Oh, it's with the vice. I didn't know that was in there. Okay. Where are we at? Let's shut this off. We got another vice in there. Oh, we got two vices. Because I do. Like, this is material. Yep. Oh, there's a soft drive. There we go. Soft drive. Turn this around. So we're going to hold it from the bottom. So our orientation is a little off. Kind of close, right? You can see that it's holding the circle, right? Hold it perfectly, other than the orientation is. So I'm going to turn the body off. Got the soft draw. You have just soft draws on right now, right? I want to move these out. Where's the. Uh... All right, I'm not going to get involved with the. Turn that off. All right. All right. Move these, these are now called components. These out of the way. This way. Turn my part pack. But I want to grab it from the bottom. I'm, I, I'm not using that material anymore. So I need to take these jaws. Rotate them. Rotate. Like them? Rotate and it needs an axis. So let's see. Oh, I do a we can do a free move. Ah, that actually works better. Come up. Whoop. Doesn't really matter. Rotate. Ah. Yep. No. All right. Now we're kind of in the right orientation. Okay. Let's do an align. Align this to that. All right, it's on the same level. Didn't capture the position. I'm going to do this to better. Sort of better. We need to. Let's do one more online. Income. That worked. Ah, there we go. Perfect. All right, perfect. We're holding it perfectly. Back to manufacture, right? There we go. G55 operation two. Right. Where do we put the WCS? Number one, got to be aligned to the model, right? Edit. So if I got model box point, but I pick upper left corner, it's kind of out in space, but it does align to this side and this side. It really comes down to the work holding and how can I get the the WCS in the machine? How can I do that? This is a round pipe. Round pipe. Let's uh, let's go with all right. Setup only. Here's your round pipe. Where's the best place to put the coordinates so we can find it, right? Uh, go back to setup. Setup, edit to setup. Now I'm going to include the fixture as soft draws. I'm going to put them in the picture here. Yeah. Select. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, why are they not appearing? Right, go back, edit the setup. Got, oh, I can hit select. Select the jaws as the fiction. Oh. There they are. Now they're permanent. Permanently there. All right. Remember, we cannot use the raw material to find the bottle. Can I? We don't have a one, two, three block or a circular. <laughs> we don't have one in the shop. Unless you want to take an old Titan 3M and put it in there, that will work. But you're, you're like first time. First time you haven't made any yet. You know, you got to think of it that way. Most shops, you're running parts. It's first time. There's no extras hanging around. Drinking my coffee. All right. We decided we're going to do WCS in the middle. Got model box point, number one. Got to be model box point. Which one am I going to pick? I pick top or part, right? I remove the part. Drink. Here's the material that's left. I know where it's sitting. That's like bottom of parallel. Remember, 750F from bottom of parallel. That's a given. How do we find X, Y, Z? X, Y, Z. Z we can base on bottom of parallel surface of the soft jaw. Okay. Turn the body back on. Right. A common method that we use in a lot of shops is when we board the jaw, we would do it at a certain coordinate from the edge, or we would mill a circle, and we would write down on there how to get from the circle or the edge to here. So in this case, let's go back to uh, design. Right? Design. Oh, we we'll leave. We can leave the body. Right. What is that? Now we're on bottom view, right? All right. If I do inspect, inspect, measure, for this surface here to see. Oh, it says. Not quite what I wanted. Here, here to here, what quite what I want. I'm gonna make a blueprint. We need some better setup information. Something we can visualize. Piece of paper would be nice. Dude, come on, catch up. Drawing from design. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm making a blueprint here. I just put in the image of the part, its bottom view. And if I do a projected view, that's this way. And we can have a little view over there. Blueprint list. All right. I'm going to edit this view at solid object. Yeah, what's going on? You see that's sitting in there. So if I, if I edit this one to a... Using hidden lines. There's our part. Hidden line. <coughs> but I want to make a document so I know how to get the setup information. So if I'm creating the jaws or reusing the jaws. So if I do a dimension from this edge to the center of that. Three inches. This jaw to the center of that is 1.25 inches. When I created the jaw, I put a half inch spacer in the middle. When I, I got two raw so aluminum jaws, bolted them in with a half inch pin in the middle or an old edge finder or uh, anything that's half of an inch. And I machined this pocket, right? Then when I go to put my part in, I know how to get to there because I know it's three inches from here and 1.25. It's like like giving you a map, map to get from here to there. Like I can probe or edge find this side and this side and shift it 
here. So that's going to be my new document, right? I'll save. Save. Okay. Save the document. Back to here again, right? Oh, this is the part right here. Gonna uh, go back to manufacture. Do the uh, also this is a tricks and tips here. If you're in Fusion, turn on this activate with active setup right here. And when you click on this, it'll rotate to your like a home view of the active setup. All right. And remember that. It's shift up from parallels. So if you go this one, this one, and this one, we do a shift, three inches, shift, I forget the number, and shift up. We're going to write that on the document. So I'm going to put right in here with text. D0 equals. Five zero up um uh, else yeah there we go all right so back to here right if you create a setup sheet a setup sheet right here right oh folder. I think it need regeneration over here. It's going to give you the view of what actually is there. So we need to turn the body back on. It gets a little more accurate, and it looks like I got to regenerate something here. So I don't get. All right, go to setup sheet time. It's trying to store it somewhere. There's our setup sheet. So it's uh, not really clear how to get there. It's sort of good information. I'm using WCS number two. I'm using tool one from operation one, tool four from operation one, and then we added an engraving tool as tool eight. And is there any other information there? Not a lot. So I think I prefer the, the drawing right here, the drawing as a better visual representation of how to get from here to there, how to get to your WCS. Okay, so now we're back to here again, right? We got this, well, that's the make the software one. Let me close that one. All right, operation two, one M we don't need anymore. All right. Okay, we're back to this one, soft jaws. I know there's yellow things up there, but we're ready to machine now. All right, let's do a quick simulate. And I uh, think some settings need to turn these transparent, but I, I could do that later. I like using comparison mode. All right, so we're doing the, let's go back to face mill. We want multiple cuts. Right, stock's been identified. Stock, we're gonna use all stock top all the way to model top. We're going to do multiple depths, right? Chop, 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 chop our way down to zero. Then we're going to chamfer the outside, and we just, in this case, we did some engraving, right? CNC dude, blah, 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 right? Done. But that's how we want to get to find WCS. So whatever part you're working on, you got to be model aligned on operation two, how are you going to hold it, and how are you going to get there, those three things. I hope that gives a little bit better understanding of the project. So that's home view of like the CAD kind of home view. This one does sync active setup. Stock visibility, you can like turn that on and off. Transparent stock. Play with your settings. There we go. And the hat, okay. CNC dude signing off.